you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey youtube what's up munchie here back with another video and in this video we're going to root the essential phone and we're going to install official twerp recovery on the essential phone now what do you need make sure you have unlocked the bootloader on your essential phone i have a video for that it is linked in the description of this video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of the screen next make sure you have backed up your pictures and everything just in case things go south next thing make sure you have removed your pin or password even though this version of twerp recovery supports decryption i personally suggest you to remove the pin or pattern and then you can go ahead and set it back later on once we've installed twerp recovery and rooted your device so what are the things which we need we need magisk version 17.1 zip file you need latest ADB and fast boot. You need the twerp image file and the twerp installer zip file. Huge shout out to Dees underscore Troy for creating twerp recovery for the essential phone. All these files will be linked in the description of the video. And once you've downloaded them, place them inside one folder so that it is easy for us. Next thing which we need to do is we'll go ahead and unzip the latest ADB and fast boot. Once that is done, you will have a folder called platform hyphen tools. And now we'll go ahead and rename the twerp image file. So we'll just go ahead and rename it to twerp-mata.img. Just makes it easier for me to type it in later. And then we'll move this file to the platform tools folder. Once you have moved this file to the platform tools folder, we'll go back. And at this point, you need to connect your phone to the computer. Once you have connected our phone to the computer and it shows up as internal storage on your computer, we need to transfer two files to the internal memory of the phone. Those two files are the Magisk zip file and the twerp installer zip file. So we'll go ahead and move these files to the internal memory of the phone. Now we have to boot our phone into fast boot mode. So to do that, you go ahead and turn the phone off. Once you've turned off the phone, you need to press and hold the volume down button and then you press and hold the power button at the same time and you will boot into fast boot mode. So this is how fast boot mode looks like and at this point we will go ahead and connect our phone to the computer. Once we are back on the computer, Mac and Linux users need to open terminal. Windows users can go ahead and open PowerShell or command prompt and we navigate to the folder where we had extracted ADB and fast boot and in the same folder we had placed the twerp recovery file. So the first thing which we're going to do is we'll go ahead and check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not. And the command for that is fast boot devices. Mac and Linux users need to enter dot slash before the command and PowerShell users also need to enter dot slash before the command. Command prompt users don't need to enter dot slash and then you go ahead and press enter. And there, as you can see, my device is being detected in fast boot mode. Next step is we'll go ahead and check what our current slot is. The command for that is fastboot get where current hyphen slot. I'll have all these commands in the description of the video as well. Go ahead and press enter. So there you can see our current slot is A. So we will note that down somewhere that our current slot is A. Now we're going to flash to up recovery to the other slot which is B. If your current slot is B, then you will flash up recovery to slot A. So in short, you have to flash the up recovery image to the inactive slot or the slot which is not your current slot. The command to flash up recovery is fastboot flash boot underscore B name of the twerp image file. I'm using boot underscore B because my current slot was A. If your current slot was B, you will use boot underscore A over here. Then you go ahead and press enter. So we have successfully flashed twerp image file to slot B. Now we need to set the slot B as the active slot. The command for that is fastboot hyphen hyphen set hyphen active is equal to B. Again, if you flashed your twerp image file to slot A, you will use hyphen hyphen set hyphen active is equal to A over here. Then you go ahead and press enter. Now we've successfully set our booting slot to slot B. All right, YouTube. So I've written down my slots on a piece of paper so that I don't forget that. And at this point, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and use the volume rockers. And once you see the option called recovery mode, we'll go ahead and select that option using the power button. 
So now we should boot into TWAP recovery. So we've successfully booted into TWAP recovery and we'll just go ahead and say keep read only. And now we'll have to flash the TWAP zip file which we had copied to the internal memory of the phone. Right, so we'll go ahead and click on install and we'll scroll down. And here we have the TWAP installer zip file. We'll go ahead and select this guy and then we'll swipe to confirm the flash. So as you can see, it is right now patching slot A and then later on it should patch slot B as well for us. So there, as you can see now, it is patching slot B. All right, so now we've patched both the slots with the up recovery. We'll click on the home button and over here, we'll go ahead and click on reboot and our current slot is B, but our Android slot was a so we'll go ahead and say slot a over here and this will change our bootable slot to slot a and now we will go back to the home screen we'll click on reboot and we'll click on reboot into system and at this option it is your wish what you want to do i just say do not install so now we're booting back into android once we have successfully booted back into Android, we'll go ahead and restart the phone. And while we are restarting it, we'll go ahead and press and hold the volume down button so that we boot back into the bootloader mode. So I'll just go ahead and click on restart and press and hold the volume down button. So there, as you can see, we have successfully booted back into bootloader mode. Again, we'll use the volume rockers. And once we see recovery mode, we'll go ahead and select this option using the power button and we should boot back into TWAP recovery. So we have booted back into TWAP recovery. And at this point, if we go and click on reboot, our current slot is A. So now we'll go ahead and root our device. So to do that, we'll go ahead and click on install and then we'll scroll down and we'll select the magisk zip file which we had downloaded. So we'll select this guy and then we'll swipe to confirm the flash. Once Magisk zip file has been flashed successfully, we'll go ahead and click on the home button. And now we'll go ahead and click on reboot and we'll click on system. And again, let me just check over here, do not prompt and we say do not install. All right, YouTube. So we have successfully booted back into Android. Now, if I open up the app drawer, we have Magisk manager over here. So we'll go ahead and open Magisk manager. And as you can see, we have Magisk 17.1 installed. So we have successfully rooted the essential phone and we also have a permanent to up recovery now. So that's it for this video. YouTube likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.